In this session, we are discussing selection shot. Before going for the algorithm or implementation, let us know what is the logic is being played in the selection shot through a proper tracing and example. So here is the example. Let us suppose we are having one array consisting of some unshorted data. And here we are using selection shot to short them in the ascending order. So let us suppose the array is having 8 locations. So value of n is equal to 8. And it is initially containing this set of unshorted data. Okay. Now the logic for selection shot. At first I shall have to find out the location of the minimum data from 1 to n. So location of the minimum data from 1 to n. So I am finding this one at location number 7. So see it is 1 to n is my limit. And I am finding the minimum number at location number 7. Is 7 is equal to 1? No. Because the minimum number is not at the least place number. So that is why that 11 and 77 will be the 11 and sorry here 44. 11 and this 44 will be swapped. And rest numbers will have the same place. So that means at first I am searching the position of the minimum number within the range 1 to n. I am finding this one say at the lock place. If the lock is not equal to 1, that means the minimum number is not at the least place number. So then that whatever the data we are having at the location number 1, here it is 44, will be swapped with 11. So now they have got swapped. So this array has got shorted up to this limit because the minimum number is at the minimum place number. Now from 2 to 8. What is the place number of the minimum data? Here the place number is 3. Is 3 is equal to 2? No. So whatever we are having here should be swapped with 22. So now the array has got shorted up to this limit. Now from 3 to 8, what is the location number of the minimum data? Here the location number is 5. Is 5 is equal to, to the lower bound 3? No. So whatever you are having at this third location, so will be swapped with the data at the fifth location. So they have got swapped. So array has got shorted up to this. Now I am trying to find out the minimum data location number from 4 to 8. What is the minimum uh, data? 44. What is the location number 7? Is 7 is equal to 4? No. So whatever you are having at this particular fourth place will be swapped with the seventh place data. So this 44, 88 has been swapped. So array has got shorted up to this limit. What is the location of the minimum data from 5 to 8? Now it is at the 8th place. So 55, it is at the 8th place. Is 8 is equal to 5? No. So that means I require swapping in between 77 and 55. So they have got swapped. Okay, so array has got shorted up to this limit 1 to 5 location number. Now what is the minimum data location number from 6 to 8? It is 6. So is 6 is equal to the lower bound 6? Yes. So that means I need no swapping. So the array has got shorted up to this limit 1 to 6. What is the location number of the minimum data here? What is the minimum number of minimum uh, location number for the minimum data? So what is the location number for the minimum data? Here it is nothing but 77 is at the place number 8. Is 8 is equal to 7? No. So they are to be swapped. And we know that if you can place n minus 1 number of numbers to the correct place according to the shorted order, then automatically the last number, the 8th number or the nth number will be placed to the desired position. So now 88 has come at the last place because that is the maximum out of n number of numbers. So this is the logic of this selection shot. So I think while writing this algorithm, I should write a separate program or a separate function rather I should say, which will take the array name as input argument and which will take the lower bound and upper bound within which the location number of the minimum data will be, will be searched by that very function and the location number will be returned to the caller and caller will handle the situation whether it should go for swapping or whether it is not going to do the swapping. You see here the tick mark is here 
and the market is this one. So they require swapping. And the tick mark is here and the market is this one. So they require swapping in this way. Now here you see the tick mark and the marker both on the same place. So that means the desired data is at the desired location. So no swapping is required. So accordingly, we can write the algorithm in this way. So I think you are getting this logic. Please remember this logic. You can easily reproduce the algorithm accordingly. I've written this algorithm in such a format that you can easily convert it to the Java or say um, C programming or Python anyway. I've, you see, I've written this particular uh, algorithm in the C or Java like syntax. Now see, algo, min lock, it is not selection short algorithm, it is a min lock which will find the location of the minimum data in between this range on the array A and it will return that location number, so return int. Okay, now see, lock is equal to lower bound, so I am fine, I am uh, taking this one that the minimum data is at the least place number, lower bound. So now for i is equal to lower bound plus 1 and i less than equal to n because here i starts from 1 to n, here i starts from 2 to n, here i starts from 3 to n, so always the upper limit is n. So lower bound plus 1 and upper limit is always n and i plus plus. If a lock that means the, at this particular place is greater than a i that means I should update lock with i. So in this way if I go on executing this for loop the lock will be holding the location number of the minimum data. Please uh, get this logic I am not eager to find out the minimum number. I am eager to find out the location of the minimum number because if I can find out the location number of the minimum data then I am having the location number and reaching to that very particular location of the array I can get the minimum number. So both can be accessed. So now in this way this loop will get executed. So ultimately lock will be containing the location number of the minimum data and that value will be returned. Okay. Now this is my actual selection shot. So we know that we are having 7 iterations. Why? Because 7 iterations will place 7 numbers in the correct place automatically the 8 to 1 will be placed to the desired position. So its for loop will be 1 to n minus 1. So for i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So min lock will return the value of lock. If the lock is not at the ith place, if the lock is not equal to i, then swap a lock a i. So very simple, swap a lock a i. So now I am just going to swap them. Instead of writing swap, you, you know that you will be uh, supposed to write three uh, uh, instructions there. That is temp is equal to a lock, a lock is equal to a i and ai is equal to temp for swapping them. I can write the code for you also, see. So in this way, this particular statement swap a lock ai can also be replaced by this three statements. That is temp is equal to a lock, a lock is equal to ai and ai is equal to temp. So this is the case. So there is a closing bracket for if, closing bracket for for, closing bracket for the algorithm. Now the array will get shorted with the logic of selection short. I think you are getting this logic. So always try to remember the basic logic of, of a certain shorting algorithm so that you can, you can easily generate the respective program or algorithm whatever required in which language is immaterial. If you know the syntax you can easily convert it and write the uh, required program for the respective shorting algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.